The moment that I saw how the Disney intro sequence played out, I knew I was in for something special. You're still alive? Can you help me get back? No way! There I am. What are we waiting for? <laughs> Wait, not me! <laughs> So Soul is the latest film from Pixar directed by Pete Docter who also brought us Monsters Inc, Up and Inside Out. And in Soul we follow Joe Gardner voiced by Jamie Foxx, a teacher slash jazz musician who after he gets the gig of a lifetime he suddenly and unexpectedly dies. And after he suddenly dies he must figure out a way to get his soul back into his human body with the help of a character named 22 voiced by Tina Fey. Alrighty guys so let's get into Soul. Excellent! Soul was one of my most anticipated movies of the rest of the year and when it comes to films made by Pixar, besides Cars 2, Brave to a certain extent and I'll even throw in Cars 3 to a certain extent, Pixar has made films that I either really like or films that I absolutely love. Here's the thing though, Pixar making this film wasn't the reason why I was so excited about Soul. The main reason why I was so excited about this movie was because like I mentioned beforehand, it was directed by Pete Docter who also brought us Monsters Inc up and inside out and for those of you who have been following me since 2015 will know that inside out was my favorite film of that year it's one of my favorite films of the past decade and truth be told inside out is one of my favorite movies of all time so knowing that pete doctor was making this movie i really had no doubt about this movie whatsoever and guys i am so happy to say this soul is yet another masterwork from pixar and pete doctor oh my god God, I loved this movie. The first thing that I have to talk about is the animation because, oh my God. Once again, Pixar proves, I mean, do they need to prove anything anymore? Pixar proves once again why they are one of the best, if not the best animation studio out there because my God, this movie is an absolute wonder to look at. When you see the details on characters' faces, certain characters' clothing, the world that Pixar takes place, and when you see how the light comes and bounces off certain objects, characters, when it comes through a window, especially when you see a sequence where Joe Gardner is trying to teach his kids in a classroom, trying to teach his kids playing music, when you see how the light comes in through the window and how it just makes shadows in the room, I'm telling you, this movie looks absolutely amazing. Besides the photo real animation that takes place in the more real world scenes in this movie, there are other scenes in this movie that have such a cool look to them. Now, I don't want to give these parts away in case if you guys haven't seen the new trailers like I have after I saw this movie. There is a certain look that they go for that is kind of reminiscent of neon lights. And let me tell you, this, the moment that I saw it, I literally went like this. Holy crap, that's Awesome. There's a sequence in particular to which when you see things happening to Joel Gardner after he dies unexpectedly, there was a part in this movie that just blew me away with how cool it looked. Getting into the performances, Jamie Foxx as Joel Gardner, I thought did a terrific job of playing this teacher who obviously has much higher aspirations in his life than of course being a teacher wanting to be a great jazz musician despite others telling him that it's essentially a waste of time. I loved his motivation for doing what he wants to do, I loved his persistence, and I loved his drive of not wanting to give up on his dreams despite him quite literally being and the fight for his life. There are even certain spots in this movie to which he gets so obsessed of wanting to get back to his body to where there are times near the end of the film, now I'm gonna try not to spoil, but there are times where he and this character named 22 voiced by Tina Fey, to which I'll get into shortly, it's a really kind, hard relationship that has a great arc. It's basically a resemblance of a student slash mentor relationship. But there are scenes in this movie to which when you see the relationship blossoming and let me tell you, it brought a big smile on my face and I was just an utter joy watching this movie. Getting into a performance that I mentioned earlier, Tina Fey as a character named 22 to which, by the way, I didn't even recognize that was Tina Fey's voice until after the credits and right when I saw her name, I just thought, oh my god, that was Tina Fey? Tina Fey does such a terrific job of portraying a character that's a very, to say the least, a very dim outlook on life. And let me tell you this right now, her character arc is by far, besides Jimmy Fox's character arc, the most 
intriguing and the most emotionally investing character arc in this entire film. Another great performance in this movie was Richard Iwad. I think I'm pronouncing his name correctly, as a Jerry character in this movie. He has some of the more funny moments in this movie. I also really liked Rachel House as Terry as this counter character who is essentially the antagonist. I really liked this person's plot in this movie. And one person that I was not expecting was Angela Bassett. I loved her character, even though she didn't have a lot of screen time. She says a saying that just it hit me. Something else that I absolutely loved about Soul was the score by Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross. If you guys have seen Pete Doctor's films since Up and Inside Out, they were scored by Michael Giacchino. And if you ask me, Michael Giacchino is one of the best composers out there. But man, if you're going to replace Michael Giacchino with anybody, you better pick a damn good composer. And man, did they choose the right pair for this job because Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross make one amazing score going of course with their synthesizer feel they also go for a different type of feel in a, another scene let me say this right now trent reznor and atticus ross made not only one of the most cool scores of the year if that makes sense they made probably the most beautiful score of the year another thing that i absolutely loved about soul and this is really a lot of pixar films but this movie has so many laugh out loud moments in particular with the disney intro sequence i'm telling you right there i was laughing so hard but there are other moments in this film to which i was laughing so hard i was wheezing seriously i i couldn't stop laughing at that scene this movie has so many moments that hit me hard on an emotional level i will say this right now this is easily without a doubt the most mature Pixar film. That's not saying that this film isn't for the family because this movie is definitely for the family, but without a doubt, there are definitely more mature aspects of this movie. There is a scene in particular in this movie, I couldn't tell you guys, I was crying. Not like the try day do this. No, a cry like this. This movie was unpredictable from start to finish guys well besides the scene where joe gardner unexpectedly and suddenly dies i couldn't have told you anything else that happened when this movie was going at a certain place near the end i was just like man you know what if this is how it's gonna end then you know what this is a beautiful ending but then it goes in a different direction and like oh my god i'm getting teary out on camera I'm telling you guys, this moment right here, god dang. One other thing that I absolutely loved about Soul was the film's message. This movie carries such a beautiful message that by the end, god dang, that message hit me hard. Well, that's just fucking great! As far as my issues go, I can't really think of anything that bothered me. Nothing that stood out like a sore thumb or any problems that I had. I can't think of a single thing that I didn't like about this movie really at all. And here we go. So overall, Soul is yet another masterwork from Pixar. Even though Soul is the most mature Pixar film, it is still a phenomenal film for the whole family to enjoy. And to top it all off, it's a film with such a beautiful message that by the end, I was in tears. And with Soul, as if he hasn't done this already, Pete Doctor has solidified himself as the best animation director working today since Hayao Miyazaki. Yes, I am going that far. Guys, all in all, I absolutely loved everything about Soul. I could gush about this movie for hours. It's one of my favorite films of the year. So as you can probably imagine, I am absolutely going to give Soul a five out of five stars. This movie is just absolutely beautiful in every sense of the word and just talking about it makes me want to watch it all over again alrighty guys so comment down below and let me know below if you guys could tell me your top five pixar films or your favorite pixar film let me know below mine personally is inside out but what is yours if you guys want to follow me on social media i'm on facebook twitter instagram and twitch i'm also on snapchat and Stardust. so if you guys want to follow me on all those social media platforms all the links in the user names are in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Soul. If so, please hit that like button, also subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell for whenever the latest video of mine goes live. If you guys want to see any of my previous two videos, please click it right there or there. And of course, until my next video or review, I'll see you guys next time.